Hello, this is Ron Savoy of Stratus Innovations Group, and welcome to another one of our Webinar Wednesdays. Today, we're going to cover self-service password reset in Microsoft Azure. We're going to cover a couple of things. First off is why do we think organizations should be thinking about implementing a self-service password reset um, environment? What's the business case to do so? Second of which is once they make that decision, what does this solution look like utilizing a a Microsoft Azure solution, and then finally uh, doing a demonstration of what this um, uh, would look like. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so first, uh, the first uh, point of it is why would an organization think about doing this? Um, as we have conversations with a lot of our customers, we have seen and what they have told us is the vast majority of their um, calls, the call volume to their help desk is um, password resets, uh, predominantly on-premise Active Directory password resets. Um, and verified by Gartner, Gartner has, uh, Gartner's research has shown that almost a third of the call volume to an IT help desk um, is related to password resets. Uh, so the business value and the business opportunity is if you can move those password resets to a self-service model, it allows an organization uh, a tremendous amount of financial and agility um, uh, uh, benefit, uh, financial from the aspect of right-sizing the help desk, moving the resources to uh, more difficult problems that um, should be a higher priority, and rebalancing amongst the tiers. So moving some tier one to tier two, tier two to tier three. Um, so there is a lot of financial opportunity uh, of uh, uh, cost avoidance and uh, cost savings for this. The second piece of it is around a customer satisfaction level am amongst your customer base. So if you can provide um, a much better service level, faster turnaround time, providing self-service type functionalities, you should see a dramatic impact in um, internal customer satisfaction scores. And then finally, if you are able to leverage um, this environment with uh, the uh, ability to federate your Active Directory with um, third-party applications, both internal and external, um, hosted software as a service, cloud-based applications like Office 365, like Salesforce.com, like uh, Dropbox, et cetera, um, this would give you a tremendous amount of functionality for providing that single sign-on experience and then having the self-service password reset um, affect the entire um, application suite that you all use internally. And the way that we are going to um, uh, show you a solution on this is based on the Microsoft Azure AD Premium service. And what we think this is, is a, a low-hanging fruit, very, very quick hit solution that IT can implement that provides a tremendous amount of business value very quickly. So let's jump in and give you a high-level overview of what this kind of looks like. Um, so on the left, you have your uh, traditional Active, Sir, Active, Active Directory, Windows Server Active Directory environment on-premise. And on the right, you have all uh, external applications in the software as a service model. And also, you may have third-party applications residing on-premise. Um, utilizing uh, Microsoft Azure Active Directory as the integration hub, if you will, provides um, a couple of things. It provides that single sign-on experience to those third-party hosted applications, but it also leverages a, a self-service password reset and a self-service portal. And we'll show you in the next slide how that kind of how that comes to be. So the key to making this work on the right-hand side now, you'll see your um, on-premise environment. You've got an Active Directory environment. And if you have leveraged um, Office 365 already, you, you more than likely you utilize a tool called Azure AD Connect. And the purpose of Azure AD Connect is to populate your Office 365 directory with your um, on-premise Active Directory environment and synchronize the passwords. So the passwords in your on-premise Active Directory environment are the same passwords in uh, your Office 365 environment. Um, and the key to making that work and making this work uh, in a self-service password reset model is that same process works in reverse, which means that if you change your password in Office 365, that Azure AD Connect um, a tool has what's called a password write back functionality that allows you to change that password in Office 365, which is changing your password in Azure AD, because Azure AD is the directory for Office 365. And when you change that password in Azure AD, the password write back allows you to update your um, local 
Active Directory environment. So, um, uh, so that's sort of the the way that this works um, in uh, the um, Office 365 um, administration model. So, what they have done is extended that to a public internet-facing site that allows you to do self-service password reset. So, let's do a quick demo of what that would uh, what that would look like. Okay. Uh, for this demonstration, first, what we're going to show you is how to uh, how to provision and configure uh, your um, uh, self-service password reset environment in window in um, Microsoft Azure Active Directory. So first, the provisioning and the purchasing of Azure um, Active Directory Premium um, is done in the Office 365 portal. You could have your um, if you have Office 365 services already, you simply go into the uh, billing tab and in the subscriptions, you just um, add another subscription. That subscription is Azure AD Premium. If you don't have Office 365 now, um, they provision a tenant for you and then you add that single subscription, that Azure AD Premium subscription. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're, uh, we've already um, purchased that, we already have that. A subscription in our environment, but for um, this one, a user of ours, uh, Louis Elliott, we are going to uh, we're going to um, uh, go through and use him for uh, doing a, uh, a password reset. But before we do that, the first thing we have to do is license him for this. So we're going to go in to edit the licenses. We're going to pick the Azure AD Premium, and we're going to save it. Um, the next step is we are going to configure this. Uh, configure the Azure AD Premium environment. That's done on the Azure AD link under the admin section on the Office 365 portal, which takes you over to the um, uh, Microsoft Azure portal. If you have additional services like uh, um, uh, virtual machines, virtual networks, Azure Site Recovery, you would see them here, but initially it's simply populated with um, Active Directory. Again, Office 365 is based on Azure Active Directory, which is part of when, uh, Microsoft Azure, and you can uh, you can uh, configure and manage that directory within your Azure portal. So we're going to click on that directory, and we're going to click on the Configure tab. Uh, the first thing we're going to do all, in order to set this up, we are going to simply say yes. We're going to enable users for password reset. You have the option to resetting uh, to restricting access to a a particular um, Active Directory security group, and you would put individuals in this security group, and only individuals in this security group would be able to go to password reset. But for this uh, demonstration, we're just simply going to say no. Um, we have, uh, we're going to list the um, multi-factor authentication methods that uh, the users will use for our environment, we're just going to say uh, they could enter either a mobile phone or an alternate email address. You're also going to see in this demonstration um, how an individual first um, go through to um, authenticate themselves and register themselves to um, uh, and complete the registration process, where Azure AD will say, um, I want to verify you are who you are to complete the registration. Um, verify your cell phone uh, your, and verify this alternate email address. So you'll we'll go through a process to do that um, to do that completion of registration. And then you can also set up how many when they do um, do uh, um, ask for a uh, a password reset, how many different authentication methods um, they are uh, required to enter. So in this example, we have two that we uh, could potentially use, but we're saying they only have to use one of the two. And then finally, this setting, uh, the number of days before users are asked to reconfirm their authentication information is the process where uh, when you log in, um, you log in with the correct password. The first thing you're presented with is, hey, um, I want you to verify you are who you are. So I want you to um, authenticate that you have this cell phone and this is your alternate email address. So you'll see, uh, we'll show you that uh, during the demonstration. And then finally, in this section here, there's a custom branding that allows you to update the landing pages in Office 365 with your custom logo and custom branding. Um, we won't go into that here, but you'll see in our demonstration, uh, we won't go into it here how to do that, but you'll see in the demonstration that uh, there is the capability to do that. And all you're doing is you're uploading images and some uh, text and uh, various information on that.
So um, that's all we got to do to configure um, Azure um, self-service password reset. So let's go ahead and click save. Now what we're going to do is we are going to log in to the Office 365 portal um, as that, uh, as Louis Elliott. Um, so uh, first thing we do, we come into the Office 365 portal. And again, we are just simply logging in. He has his password, but he's going to um, complete the registration process and um, essentially authenticate his cell phone and alternate email address. Um, so the first thing he's going to do is sign in with his password. And it's going to ask you first, it's going to say, um, let's go ahead and set up the, this registration process. So we're going to set this up now. And uh, it's going to ask us for a couple things. If you notice, there's a cell phone that's already in there that gets pulled over from Active Directory. We are going to verify that. So let's go ahead and say, uh, text me. And let's get that authorization code. Okay, so we got our text code 105848. Let's verify. Okay. Let's go ahead and authenticate with our email. And I have an alternate. Uh, let's go ahead and email that to my alternate email address. Let's wait for that to show up over here in another page. And it's 728100. 728100. Let's verify that. And we have now authenticated. Um, so what we've done is we've registered and verified that these two other methods of authentication are accurate and are legitimate. So let's go ahead and finish that. And uh, we have uh, logged in to um, the Office 365 environment and we, for the first time, and we have uh, verified um, our information and registered for um, the uh, self-service password uh, reset environment. So now let's log in again as this, uh, as Louis. But this time we're gonna say, oh, I can't remember my password. So let's go ahead and uh, change it. So we're gonna click on that link that says I can't, uh, I can't log in. Um, we're gonna type in this information here. Click next. And then it's going to come back and it's going to use those authentication methods that we've provided and says use pick one because again if you remember we said we only need one we're going to text and then first thing it's going to ask us is what is our cell phone number that we provided so sort of a um, um and let's text and we're going to be getting a code here Three five three zero five five three five three zero five five. So from that two-factor authentication, it's saying we are who we are. It's saying okay. Now we're going to change this password, and I'm going to show you um, that this works because we're going to log into the domain as well. So Louis a runner. He loves to run. He loves to get out there and run like crazy. So we're going to change his password to run forever exclamation point. So we're going to put that there. And we're going to put that there and finish. Um, it says it was replaced, so we're going to click here. And let's log in to him again and use that exact same password again just to show you that we did update first off the Office 365 password. And we are logging into the Office 365 service. Now he is going to log in to the domain. So we're just going to log into this machine into the into the domain. And again, using his uh, account. And again, we are going to put that same password there. And you will see he is able to log in to the domain. 
So that shows you um, the ability to change the password in the self-service password reset, which um, changes the Office 365 password and then instantaneously changes the Active Directory password so that he can log into the domain as well. So that shows you the self-service password reset capabilities of uh, Microsoft Azure Premium. That completes our, uh, our uh, webinar for uh, this week. Um, so uh, we look forward to having you back in our webinars next week. Thank you.